Yeah. All right, so this video is on subtraction. And before we actually start subtracting positives and negatives with each other, we're just going to review real quick some simple subtraction rules, um, kind of like we did for the addition. So the first thing, obviously when you subtract, you know, 29 minus 12, if you, if you don't remember what it is, you can certainly always go to lining them up above each other, 9 minus 2 is 7, 2 minus 1 is 1, and you'll get 17. But the point of this problem is actually not to be 17. The point, the reason I have this on here is I want to make sure you remember how you check subtraction. Okay? You can always check subtraction by doing an addition problem. You do your answer plus what you subtracted, and you should get what you started with. So in other words, if I do 17 plus 12, that's going to give me a 9 and 2, and I get 29. So yeah, I know 17 is definitely the right answer. Doing this check, with checking with addition, is going to be very important when we get to doing these subtractions with negatives and stuff because it's going to be the easy way to check and make sure you're doing it right. We already know how to add. We just spent a couple of days doing that. So we know what the addition problems look like. What we need to do now is use that to make sure we're doing our subtraction ones right. So we just have a couple of rules we want to talk about today, a couple of easy things. The first one is when you subtract zero. All right, so obviously everybody knows if you do 12 minus 0, you're just going to get 12. And you can easily check that by doing 12 plus 0, your answer plus what you subtracted. And, yeah, we already know our rule is if you add 0, it stays the same. Well, it looks like that's kind of the rule when you subtract, too, which makes sense. If I'm not taking anything away, then I should stay where I was at, right? So that also works with negatives. I'm in negative 5 minus 0. Okay, well, if think about it on a number line. If I'm at negative 5, okay, I'm already out there. If I'm not subtracting, I'm not taking anything away, then I don't need to go anywhere. I'm just going to stay right there. So it's going to be negative 5. Okay, and again, you can check that by adding your answer what you subtracted, and sure, negative 5 plus 0, yeah, that definitely is negative 5. Then add 0 stays the same. So, yeah, that's the right answer for sure. So, what we can see from this is it doesn't matter if my number is positive or negative, okay? Any number, when I subtract 0, it's just going to equal that number. It could be positive, it could be negative. It could be a decimal. It could be a fraction. doesn't matter. Anything minus 0 is that number. So in algebra, we write that x minus 0 is x. No matter what number you pick, you guys don't subtract anything. I'm going to stay where I'm at, which should make a lot of sense. Okay. Now, the other rule we want to look at today is when you subtract a number from itself. Okay? And you should know this, 24 minus 24. If I'm at 24, I take all 24 away, then I should end up at 0. Okay? And again, easy check. Take your answer, add what you subtracted, and make sure you got what you started with. Well, 0 plus 24, well, that's 24. So, yeah, that's right. My answer is 0. That's definitely the right answer. So we come down here. Now this one looks very confusing because we have all of these negative subtraction signs in here. So people look at this one and they're like, well, this doesn't make any kind of sense. It's, you know, it's goofy. I don't know what it's saying here. Well, it's just saying I have negative 9 and I'm subtracting negative 9. So I have this number and I'm subtracting the exact same amount. Well, it really doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. If I have an amount and I subtract that exact same amount from it, I should end up at, starts with Z and rhymes with hero, zero. So it doesn't matter if it's a positive minus a positive. If they're the same, it's zero. If it's negative minus negative. If they're the same, I'm taking the same amount away from what I started with. That's zero. And again, I can check this, take my answer, and add 
the amount I subtracted, the negative 9, well, sure, 0 plus negative 9 is negative 9, which is what I started with. So, yeah, that means my check works out. My answer should be 0 because when I added back, it was right. And so this rule is just when you subtract a number from itself, you always get 0. Whether it's positive, negative, fraction, decimal, doesn't matter. Any number minus itself will give you zero. So in algebra, we would write something like b minus b equals zero. And b could be anything. And that's it. That's all we have today is those two rules. If you subtract zero, it doesn't change. It's the number you started with. And if you subtract a number from itself, you're going to get zero.